we would like to welcome you to Three Willows Longest Night Service. To everyone watching, may this time together bring peace and comfort. Matthew 11, 28-29 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Merciful God, we thank you for your healing presence. We are like empty cups waiting to be filled with your love passion and healing presence. Hear our loneliness and fill us with your grace. Amen.
Christmas is a time of loneliness for many of us. We see families gathering and celebrating together. When we are grieving, we may think that if we celebrate, we dishonor our loved one. The depth of our emptiness is close to our hearts during the celebration of Christ's birth. We may try to fill this emptiness with food, computers, television, or anything else. This emptiness is a disconnection from ourselves and often from God. Jeremiah 29, 12. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen. I light this candle of prayer, remembering that God always hears our prayers. The candle of healing, the cards and letters used to celebrate the joyous time of baby Jesus or the holiday season fall short. What we often long for are letters of consolation, anything to fill the void left by our losses. We think of Christmas dinner and we long for all to be present. There is love and goodwill all around and yet our hearts are unable to embrace it. There, are, there may be gifts under the tree, but we ask, where is the one gift that I wish for? We are not able to go out and visit loved ones, and we long for them to be with us. Sometimes life seems lonely and empty. We beg God to fill us, and yet we do not feel that we are heard. Psalm 34, 18 to 20. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from all of them. I light this candle Asking for the healing of our broken hearts, knowing that you are able, you are capable of all things, Lord. A candle of strength. Even though our loved ones are not here to celebrate with us, if we open our hearts and imagine a wonderful celebration with them, we will be able to feel their presence and God's presence. Good memories can encourage us, warm us on a cold winter's day, and help us keep hope in our hearts for a better tomorrow. They help us remain connected to the ones who are no longer with us. Good memories can strengthen and sustain us. The reading is from Proverbs chapter 4, verses 11 to 13. I instruct you in the way of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered. When you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instruction. Do not let it guard it well, for it is your life. I light this candle of strength, knowing that our strength comes from God. God alone can fill us with strength, hope, courage, and confidence in God.
As Christians, we are asked to remember Christ every time we take communion. This memory has been carried from generation to generation. Our ability to remember is a precious gift. Remembering our blessings fills our hearts with gratitude. And I'm reading from Luke 22, 19 to 20. And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. I light this candle of gratitude. We are grateful for the wonderful memories. Without our memories, we would be unable to save our life and to heal painful past situations. May our memories fill us with hope and consolation. Psalm 30, verses 4 and 5. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name, for his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. I light the can this candle of consolation. No, we know that pain can be lightened when shared with another. We thank you, God, for walking with us during this time of pain, sadness, and loneliness. May joy return as you walk with us and console us.
Oh, memory giver, thank you for the storehouse of good memories that are ours. May these blessed memories give us hope, inspiration, and comfort during this Christmas season. We ask that you touch us with your love and compassion during these holidays. Thank you for your blessings. Amen. Keeping watch in the night. Shepherds keeping watch in the night, close to the grassy slopes, at home in the darkness. A listening presence in the midnight emptiness. Shepherds keeping watch in the night, terrified by a voice not heard before, not supposed to be there. Shepherds keeping watch in the night, alarmed by powerful light, upending their security. But they did not run away. They stayed in the dark and listened, stretched their ears to the unknown voice. And the voice said, Do not be afraid. Stay in this dark place and listen. I have wonderful news. The hoped for one, the birthing you've longed for in the depths of your soul has come. Oh yes, has come. The watchers of the night, the keepers of the inner longings, Enchanted by music of the skies, hurried on midnight feet, and found the one who waited, unlike what they'd expected, and surprisingly beautiful. All those night watches and the deep inner longing, now they knew, now they knew. So 